Uh, okay, uh, thank you very much for the introduction and the opportunity to be here. Uh, today we'll talk about uh, Zimmer's conjecture for co compact lattice in uh, simple complex Lie groups. Uh, there are many reasons uh, that one can be interested by Zimmer's conjecture, and uh, uh, we will start with the simplest one. Uh, we can ask uh, the following question. Uh, given a compact manifold M, what can be said about the group, uh, the different morphism group of M? Uh, there's a long line of research. Uh, for example, we just mentioned a result uh, of um, Martha, Herman, and Thurston Epstein. Uh, they show that the identity component of this uh, C infinity different morphism group is simple. Uh, we can also ask uh, what are the possible subgroups of uh, the different morphism group of M. Uh, so Zimmer's conjecture concerns the following groups. So let G be a simple Lie group of a real rank at least two with finite center. Uh, more generally, we can consider a semi-simple Lie group with finite center and uh, all of whose simple factors have real rank at least two. And let gamma be a lattice in G. Uh, so Zimmer's conjecture says roughly that uh, any homomorphism from gamma to DVLM should be essentially trivial when the dimension M is small. By essentially trivial, we mean that the image should, ha uh, should be finite. Uh, to properly introduce Zimmer's conjecture, we first uh, introduce several quantities. Uh, so NG denotes the minimal dimension of a non-trivial real representation of the Lie algebra of G, and that VG denotes the minimal real, dim real co-dimension of a maximal <coughs> proper parabolic subgroup of G, and that DG denotes the minimal dimension of all non-trivial homogeneous space k quotient by c, uh, as k varies over all compact real forms of G. Uh, so here's the full version of Zimmer's conjecture. So if the dimension of M is smaller than the minimum of these three numbers, then any homomorphism from gamma to the diffeomorphism group of G has finite image. So if the dimension of M is smaller than uh, the minimum of uh, N and D, then any homomorphism to the volume preserving diffeomorphism group of M has finite image. If the dimension of M is smaller than NG, then any homomorphism to the volume preserving different morphism group of M preserve a remaining metric. Uh, if the dimension of uh, M is smaller than VG, then any homomorphism from gamma to different morphism group of G preserve a remaining metric. And all of these uh, things in the introduction are copied from um, uh, the, full, uh, the paper I will mention, uh, this paper of uh, uh, Brown Fisher and uh, Hutado. Uh, so, there are more sophisticated motivations. So, is there a more precise version which somehow classifies the action? Uh, yeah, the yes, but uh, like it, this is not the one stated in the paper. Okay. Uh, but there are, I will mention it like at the beginning of my talk. Uh, so, uh, most uh, sophisticated motivation uh, so it's linked to the rigidity of linear representation of lattice in higher rank Lie groups. So, the uh, earlier work on uh, uh, there are works of uh, Selberg and Wei on the local rigidity of uh, co-compact lattice in higher Lie groups. And then there is a work of uh, Masto and uh, uh, Prasad uh, on this global rigidity of lattice in PON1. And then finally we have this Magli super rigidity theorem that which classify all the um, linear representation of uh, such lattices. And uh, then there are like this generali uh, this, this, this generalized by um, Zimmer. Uh, so he proved that his famous uh, Zimmer's co-cycle super rigidity theorem. So in a, in a very rough term, he says that uh, so many of these uh, major preserving action of this lattice uh, can be reduced to the study of uh, linear representation of this lattice. Uh, there are many previous results. For example, there are evidence provided by the work of uh, Fab and uh, Shalom, and then uh, Neville, Neville and Zimmer. Uh, when the dimension of M is 1, uh, the conjecture is well understood after the work of uh, with Morris, uh, Jeans, and Berger and Monod. Uh, when the dimension of M equals to 2, uh, the ever-preserving version of the conjecture is proved by Podorovich for non-uniform lattices. And uh, then his work is generalized by Franks and Handel. Uh, so in their work, they can study more general groups. Uh, uh, it doesn't have to be like a lattice in higher rank uh, Lie groups. 
so recently there's a big uh, breakthrough on this conjecture, uh, which, which is obtained by Aaron Brown, David Fisher, and uh, Sebastian Hurtado. They proved that the Zimmer's conjecture item 1 and 4 hold for any split real simple the group of rank at least 2 and any Kogamaka lattice and any lattice action by C1 plus Ips modifimorphisms. And we will have a few remarks on the, their theorem. So first of all, this conjecture item 2 and uh, 3 are almost approved by them, except for SO, except, except when the group is uh, SO and N plus 1 and SO and N. Uh, for which they miss the optimal bound by one. Uh, they also obtain comparable bounds for many non-split simple D groups, for example, SLNC and SLNH. Uh, the optimal bound uh, for these two groups are respectively 2n minus 2 and 4n uh, minus 4, I mean for 1 and 4. Uh, the bound they have is n minus 1. Uh, I mean for at least for any sufficiently large. Uh, so so the result can also be generalized to non-uniform lattice. I, I heard this uh, work in progress by Brown, Fisher, and Hurtado based on related work of Wit Morris and Dallasel. Uh, regarding this regularity issue, uh, the C1 plus Y can be replaced by C1 under stronger dimensional constraint. Uh, this is first approved by Damjanovic and me, and then we improved the bound we got in our paper after Brown joined us. So we have a few words about the proof. So the proof consists of uh, three steps. So in the first step, they show that when the dimension of M is smaller than RG, so this is so-called uh, uh, resonant co-dimension. Uh, so in this case, uh, in many cases, uh, it equals to VG. Uh, in this case, R phi has uniform substantial growth of derivatives. Uh, it means that uh, the derivative growth can be well controlled by the word length of the, uh, on the lattice. And then on the second step, they say that once alpha has a, sub, a uniform substantial growth of derivatives, then alpha preserves the remaining metric. So on the, uh, at this step, they use this uh, stronger probability T uh, of gamma obtained by uh, Lafogue, Delay, and Delacelle. And so our previous work uh, on the regularity is just an improvement on this part. And also, like uh, we did also do something on this part. Uh, the finally, they, uh, they use this uh, Margulis arithmetic theorem and the super rigidity theorem to show that once alpha preserves the metric, then when the dimension of M is uh, smaller than this, alpha has finite image. Uh, now we come to our result. So we show that Zimmer's conjecture item 1 and 4 are true for C1 plus Y actions by co compact lattices uh, in SLNC. So last Thursday, uh, last, uh, yes. Uh, so last Thursday, Aaron Brown told me that this result can also be deduced uh, from his uh, work in progress with uh, um, uh, uh, Federico Rodriguez Hertz and uh, Zhiren Wang uh, on the classification at the critical dimension. Uh, also, he wrote a note and uh, told it to some other people, but it didn't reach me. So we uh, end up like uh, solving this independently. Uh, we have a few remarks on this theorem. So first of all, the result in the earlier paper showed that the image of alpha is finite if the dimension of M is smaller than N minus 1. But the uh, optimum dimension, as we said, should be like 2 N minus 2. And uh, uh, N equals uh, when N is not 4, and when E is 4, uh, uh, the optimum dimension is 5. Now this is for uh, uh, conjecture 1. For 4, uh, they're both 2 N minus 2. I forgot to write this. Uh, there is a simple proof by Brown when the dimension is uh, larger than 4 using uh, Zimmer's cosecular super rigidity theorem. Uh, strangely, this conjecture, like we felt, this is the hardest when the dimension is small. Uh, also, by, combi com by combining this uh, super rigidity approach, and uh, so uh, I, pro I proved this using mainly use this um, uh, major rigidity approach. Uh, by combining this super rigidity approach and the major rigidity approach, we can actually prove. Uh, 2 and 3 also, except when n equal to 3, and I have some problem uh, that I don't know how to do. Which major, major rigidity? Huh? Which major, major rigidity theorems do you use? No, there are like several. The one of these by uh, 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 Kalini, Katok, and uh, Rogerig's Hearts. It's not like a direct uh, application of that, but we have to adapt the technique. And another part, uh, anyway, we have uh, studied a case where certain 
uh, conditional measure is uh, atomic, and that idea uh, I had was come com uh, come is from diagonal measure. measure, measure what diagonal. Well, okay, maybe finish. Okay, okay. Uh, I have like several notes after this. Okay. I don't, uh, well maybe we'll come to that. Uh, okay. So this is the main step. I mean, uh, this just will answer your question. Uh, so uh, we will study this, uh, as in the paper, we study this uh, suspension of the action. So this is a, a fiber bound over G quotient by gamma with fibers as morphic, uh, diffeomorphic to M. And uh, so this space is equipped with a locally free G action and uh, at H be the standard garden action, uh, garden subgroup and uh, uh, Q be the parabolic subgroup. So when the dimension is smaller than this, and let this be a Q invariant diagonal measure on M alpha such that the projection is a higher measure, then we will pick some ru a restricted root, satisfy some uh, like a strangely looking condition. So, like this condition for ex experts, uh, this just to this just provides a way to overcome some uh, technical issue when we use this so-called uh, pi partition trick. So in that case. Uh, we'll, uh, so we can show that this conditional measure along this root subgroup is now atomic. Uh, then using this combined with the argument of uh, uh, N Ziedler and uh, Katok, we deduce that any H invariant H ergodic measure on M alpha whose projection is the higher measure uh, must also be G invariant. Okay, so you answered my question. Uh, okay, <laughs> but actually like there are two, uh, uh, two parts. question about this is not a sort of out there. This is for a specific action you classifying measures. Uh, yes, this is not a, like a direct application of any theorem. Yes, but uh, one of the like uh, in the course of the proof I actually use uh, some of their coming from like your pre your preprint with the uh, asymptote this much. But uh, like uh, then I find out that uh, we don't like we can do it differently. But some of the idea will come from that uh, at least for me. Uh, well, uh, finally we have some generalization and further questions. So there is a work in progress uh, with this uh, Jinpong An and uh, uh, Evan Brown and me. So we can show that this conjecture, the first item is true for C1 uh, plus D percent action by lattice in uh, all non-exceptional simple complex Lie groups. Uh, this uh, is a combined approach using both cosecal super rigidity and the major rigidity. And we can uh, prove this in many cases. And uh, it looks like we can prove all all but uh, a handful of cases in low dimension. But for that, we may need to understand this uh, L SL2R action, or you, have, you, you need to have some like, really strong uh, major digital theorem. Uh, I, d um, I don't have a very precise idea at this point. So there are other groups to study, uh, for example, SLNH and SONM, an exceptional Lie group. I think it's recognized by experts that uh, for SONM, the Conjecture presents a uh, essential difficulty. Like um, when M is large, like uh, nobody, uh, it, it looks to me that nobody knows how to do. And there are also classifications at the uh, critical dimension. Uh, 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 so there is a reason, reason result. I mean, a work in progress, but they already proved it by Aaron Brown and uh, Federico Rodriguez Hertz and uh, uh, Julian Wang that they have a very nice classification for the SLN. Uh, for lattice in SLNR, uh, they can show that at the critical dimension, which is uh, M minus one, the uh, action must be either the projective action or the lift to the sphere. Uh, so, so that's that's all for my talk. Thank you for your attention.